very often we want to do a calculation or a process over and over again. And of course, it's quite tedious to do this by hand. And because we have a computer now, we can use a command to do the same calculation over and over again. And this command is called for loop. So if a command, um, let me make this as a header maybe, command, and this is a for loop. And I give this a header here and put this up and then it's fine. So use a for loop. Now what is a for loop? Let's assume we have a list of magnesium oxide concentrations. So we have a list and I assign it to a variable called MGO and this contains three values, for example, 22.345, 19.735 and uh, maybe 21.2267 and maybe we have only two digits here. So it's not only a list with three MGO values but also different digits. Now what we want is to convert the MGO weight percent, so let's say this is weight percent and it's quite helpful to have a comment here for example that this is odin weight percent and now we want to convert this into mg weight percent so from the oxide form into the element form so what we need to do is take the first element 22.345 and multiply it with the conversion factor which is 0.603 and then we get a result here and this is now the mg weight percent and just um, a brief note you could also omit the first zero and get the same result it's just a little bit convenient and saves to type in one number which is something we often like to do now again i would if i would like to do this for the second element i would basically need to do the second calculation which of course is quite tedious if this list gets longer and longer and therefore we have these for loops now for loops works as follow. I put in 4 and then an i for an iterator and then i in mgo and then a column. So each element i for each element i in the magnesium list make um, the following for example calculations or execute the following code. And as you can see this is now indented. So everything that's indented is part of the code within the for loop and will be executed on each element within this list. So what I'm doing here, well, first of all, I could simply print it. Print i. So what I'm seeing here that now each element for i in MGO, the first element is 22.34, it gets printed. Then the loop runs again. Now with the second element, it's printed. Third element, it's printed. That's fine. I don't want to print the element, but I want to multiply it with 0.603. If I run this, nothing's happening because now I'm not printing anything. So I would need to say print the result, and then I call, or I assign the result of this calculation to the variable res, and this is then printed, and if I'm executing this, I get a result here. Nice. Now I have again lots of digits. Maybe I do not want these digits. I can use round here and then I get a result nicely with only two digits here. So this would be a 0, 12.80 um, but then it's omitting this second so I could just maybe change this here to 3 in the list and then um, I can see it's a little bit better that it's always two digits. So this is quite nice. So the nice thing about this program here is not only that it's doing the same calculation for us over and over again, but it doesn't matter how long this list is. So if this list has two more elements, um, 22.1 and 18.77, I get a result for all five elements here, which is really very nice. But now I do not want to have just the results here, but I want to have this in a new list, a new list called MG. And for this, I make a new list mg which is empty. Oops. So it's just a, an empty list here with these square brackets. Now down here what I'm doing is I don't need to print here anymore within the for loop. I have this empty list mg and now I'm appending, so I use the method called append, 
and round brackets, I'm appending to this magnesium list this result, so result. Now in each round, in each loop, it's calculating the result and then appends the result into this magnesium list. And now I want to print the magnesium list. So I need to go out of the loop. So I um, have no more indents here. Then I could use print mg and get the result. But because if there's only one, or if a variable is in the last line, then the content of the variable is printed. I can just use like this. And then I can see I have produced a new list with now all the magnesium. So this is quite nice because if you have um, magnesium oxides, a long list or a couple of lists, and you want to convert this M2 MG, we can use something like this, and it's immediately done. So one more thing, sometimes it's easier to have, for whatever reason, not important at the moment, not MGO here, so not this list, but have um, assigned I to a number. So basically, we replace this list with these various uh, well, the MGO um, concentrations here. We just put a list here with just with just um, numbers. So what do we, I mean here? So for example, I have for I in, and then we have a list here of numbers. Say one zero because you always start with zero. One, two, three, four. Now this is a list with five elements. Also, this is a list with five elements. One, two, three, four, five. And then we make a column. And then I could, for example, use the MGO list and take the element I from this list. And that's my result here. And then I print result. So if I run this, I again get the results from this list here, which is um, quite nice. And I could then again make this point times 0.603. Um, round this maybe with two, uh, two, two digits, and then I get the same as above. Now this is, could be, so and why would I want this? Maybe, maybe for example, um, because I want to put in within this loop here sometimes MGO and maybe sometimes MG, and then something like this could be maybe simpler. There are a couple of instances where it's better. We will see this later. Now, one last thing. Um, it's not very nice to have this list here because um, maybe we don't know how, how long this is, um, this MGO list. And therefore, oh, it's, it's 100 elements. We don't want to put 100 elements here. And therefore, we have a command called range. And in range, we can put in five because it has five elements. And then we get something like range 0 0.5. So that's principally fine. But if you really want to see that's really a list, we can put a list here and then we can see it's a list. When we put this, and then we can put this into the for loop. And here we don't need to put in list. So range 5 is already fine. Now, maybe one problem is we don't know how long the list MGO is. So we can also put in, because if you have MGO list, or we want to have command length for MGO, get five. So we can, for the five, you put in length MGO. And then five would be put in here. This would put in to range. And then you get this kind of results. And this is how for loops work.